Hey, this is Mark Nelson. I want to welcome you to today's show. I am so stinking excited. Today, I'm joined by our newest guest, Corey Carter, the CEO of Hindsight Hacking Media and co-host of Hindsight Hackings. Corey is on a mission to serve as many entrepreneurs as possible, and that includes me. But he wants to help them from building funnels, helping them achieve their goals, interviewing hundreds of other experts, or just helping them find the best partnerships possible through his now Dream 22 program. So without further ado, here is the show with Corey. Hey, Corey, I'm really excited you're here, though, today. I, I really am glad that we, that we could make this thing happen because you are a player. And I just, uh, I think the coolest thing is to learn from people. You know, we came into the same group, right? I, I think Launch and Scale, that's where I first, first saw you, met you, I, I guess, if you want to say that. And that's kind of exciting. But, um, you know, what I want to do is share your... Uh, history, your entrepreneurial history with my audience, if that's possible. Yeah, for sure. Well, first of all, Mark, I'm honored to be here. Uh, nice to to see you more than just a picture, right? This is my first time officially <laughs> chatting. Uh, so again, honored to be here. Thank you for having me. And uh, yeah, I'll tell a little little bit about my story. Um, you know, I I've, I was one that I always believed the the more time I put in, the harder I worked the more I could achieve things in life, right? And so I right. had a job and I grew the corporate ladder and, and next thing you know, I'm, I'm traveling the country and uh, like there was one month, literally I was gone 30 of 31 days in this oh month. Gosh. And you know, I've got uh, two kids at home. Well, at that time my wife was, um, we just found out she was pregnant. So literally I had one kid and then one on the way and I was like, I cannot do this. I cannot miss, you know, my family's right. life. And so I, I took a time, took a little bit of time to pivot. And uh, then I, I was like, okay, well, let me just take this giant pay cut and I'm going to get a job at home. So I did that and then I bounced around from a couple jobs. And, um, you know, the only benefit of that is I was home. And then ultimately it led me to meeting my business partner, Ron Cool. So, um, you know, and after working together, we we realized like, our histories were similar, but our, our passions were the same. Our, our, everything that we loved about any job we had ever had came down to helping people and, and doing certain coaching and different things. And so, um, so then we were like, okay, we, we, we have something cool. Let's start this together. Um, and it, you know, we, we, that was 2018 when we started uh, our path on that road together. Uh, 2019, I discovered the online world in regards to creating a, a business and, and it took Ron and I, I mean, months of squirreling around and looking at shiny objects and, <laughs> and all this different things. Uh, you know, we kept improving our skills and, and getting better at what we were doing, but ultimately it, it, it wasn't until last year um, around Thanksgiving, Black Friday, when we're like, you know what, we should start a podcast. And, uh, mm -hmm. and so then we, we spent the month of December figuring out the podcast and then one, one, 2020, we launched our show hindsight hacking. Um, and, and through all that time, we were figuring out exactly what we wanted to do, who we wanted to do it with and who we wanted to serve. And, uh, yeah. And it's really led us to a pretty crazy 2020 year. Um, it's the fact that we, knew you know when we launched we we knew kind of what we wanted to do but it it became super evident and clear exactly how and what we wanted to do and and so now we we join certain trainings or groups or every or anything with kind of a clear vision of, of what what it is whereas if you would have talked to me last year I, I was joining anything and everything just trying to find my way and uh and so you know as we join launch and scale right like we had the vision of what we were launching, then we just needed a little bit of assistance on how to scale it. And so that's why that made sense. And so there's other kinds of things that we're doing and it's specifically with, you know, real goals in mind uh, instead of just like, Hey, I can learn from this and, and shiny objects everywhere. Well, I do the shiny objects and I'm, I'm trying, I've done the shiny objects. I'm trying to shut that down because you do get lost in them. 
you, yeah. you, you really do and, and launch and scale kind of, I don't even know where I first found that. That just was really a great group for me. It's a, um, cause I, I do different things yet too. It, it's a, you know, I have a blog, I have a podcast, I do YouTube and I'm all over the place. Um, but it, it, my history is, uh, uh, I started an MLM and almost lost my family because it's, uh, at that time, that was in the early 2000s and I was gone all the time. And my wife had to remind me that, okay, do you remember why we had kids? <laughs> <laughs> yep. And I, I floundered because I just didn't know where to go. And, and finding the online world was a, uh, that was huge. It just was, again, to find your voice and where you're supposed to be. And, uh, you know, I've listened to Russell so many times that it's a, he just says, get out there, right? So that's sweet. Yeah. Your podcast, one one twenty twenty. That is kind of cool. How would you decide on one one twenty twenty? Shoot, I'm usually just laying around doing nothing that day. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. It was a crazy idea. And, and so – hindsight right like hindsight's 2020 everybody knows right. hindsight's 2020 and and we're like gosh we're rolling into the year 2020 um and, and it just all kind of fell together with with it and we, we 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 were like you know what we can we didn't know anything about a podcast at on black friday and and then we had this crazy idea to figure it out during december and ron had a death in the family and we had the holidays and all kinds of things that would you would think that you you couldn't move forward but um but because we worked so well together we just one little thing at a time imperfect action um and and that was our first row foray and doing things imperfectly because it was definitely imperfect <laughs> and um yeah so one one it, it came about and, and we were ready to go and we launched with eight shows and uh hit the charts we you know it was i think our best in the u.s was like 133 uh entrepreneurship we hit like uh, number 30 in uh, Canada. Somehow we hit number three in Singapore, like all over the world. Uh, we were, we were on the charts and it was, it was pretty cool and pretty fun. And, and honestly, like it's hard to listen to those first 10 shows, but uh, you know, <laughs> I think we're at uh, episode 64 coming up on Monday. Um, and, and we've got so many in the bank as like you, you know, you, you, you kind of, do some interviews and you uh, have things rolling uh, ahead of time a little bit. So, um, but honestly, I wouldn't be comfortable where I am if without that podcast, because um, I'm, I'm one that I would rather be in the background. I would rather, uh, I'm fine. Like having conversations one-on-one, -on -one, but I am not fine. It's hard for me on camera, uh, but now every one of our shows are, are on YouTube. Like, you know, because we just record it like you and I are right now, but we do the video and the, and the audio. So, um, so I'm very, very thankful. I listened to what Russell said as well when it came, went to one funnel away and it was all about publishing. Right. And it took me six months to figure out how to publish, but that was our route. That was our avenue. Now, that is, a, that's kind of interesting because publishing is how often you, I heard that word. And I, I really meant, thought he meant like just on a blog for a while. And, and I don't like to write. I'm a math person, so I don't, I, I don't like to write. And then I, I had a YouTube channel, but um, I kept hearing, he kept saying podcast. And I thought, well, how do you do a podcast? So I started searching out different ways. And I thought maybe on a, in my car, because it, it's, I still teach high school. Okay. So you get caught. I, I mean, there's, a, I, my wife and I live in an RV. And I come home, she's home, and it's like, oh, well, I can't get away. <laughs> I can't, I can't do a YouTube video because you're here, and it's like, oh, so anyway, it's. Uh, so you're doing it with her, right? <laughs> well, <laughs> we did one business together. We don't do businesses together anymore. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So, in in your, would you suggest to people start a podcast? Oh, for sure. I, I mean, honestly, so back to what you mentioned, like when you heard Russell, you heard blog and, but it wasn't your passion, right? Like right. publishing is publishing, however it is. So if it's a blog, if you love writing and you, and you read blogs, then go publish a blog. Mm -hmm. But I personally, I love podcasts. I love listening to podcasts. And so it made the most sense for me to do a podcast. Um, and, 
and the beauty of a podcast, like if we do it with a video like this, and yeah. you're like recording this, right? Like you can put it on YouTube and you could put it on your podcast. And honestly, you can get a transcription of this interview, Mark, and turn it into a blog, right? right. So, so you can accomplish all of it with just this one. Um, but if you don't love podcasts, if you don't listen to podcasts, if you don't believe in podcasts, then don't do a podcast, right? right. Um, if, you, if you go to YouTube for all your content, all your you know, little things that you do, then just go publish on YouTube. If, if, if you get everything in Facebook, then just go publish in Facebook, right? So it's however you can go get heard that you can commit to and do it consistently is the number one thing. And so again, I probably listen to five or six different podcasts every single week uh, religiously than more when I have a little extra time. And so me doing a podcast like makes sense because I'm passionate about that whole realm of, of the world and, and publishing. Right. And so, but it, you, you have to pay me money to get me to go live in Facebook. And so, um, and you know, so it's a little bit like, I, I don't mind Facebook lives for others, but it's not like my chosen way to consume. Okay. Um, so it's hard for me to produce in that way. But again, I, I love consuming podcasts, so it's easy for me to produce in that world. Okay. Do you, and I haven't seen this, do, do you and Ron have courses or you do, do. your podcast and you do coaching or how's, how do you, I, so end all question, how are you making income? Yeah. Um, so exciting thing, right? Like had the J, had the job and and it wasn't until like Ron and I had done a lot of work uh, doing some things on the side and starting to build a little bit of income, but it wasn't until this year and, and COVID really, you know, forced this hand, yes. but uh, I was furloughed okay. from my position. And, and then I'm like, well, I've been trying to do this anyway. I don't want to go back to work and I, I will make like today's the last day of July. Like I already have planned to make more in August and this is a 50 50 split. Like my 50% of what Ron and I have planned in August is more than what I would have made at my job. Um, oh, that's cool. Yeah. So anyway, so back to your question, um, you know, the, we have a program that we, it's really in beta. It's called now my dream 22. And it's a mix of coaching. It's a mix of, um, done for you stuff and, uh, mastermind pieces. Um, and, and we took this because, there's a couple of things. If anybody here listening knows about the One Funnel Away Challenge, in that challenge, you learn about a concept called the Dream 100. Yes. And, and so the Dream 100, if anybody knows Russell Brunson and his story of he worked for 10 years to forge a relationship and partnership with Tony Robbins. Now, if Tony Robbins is on your Dream 100, Mark, and you just want to get him to know you or do business with him or whatever – Right. Think about all the things that you have to do to actually make that happen. And I don't know if you have 10 years to wait for it. I know I don't. Right? <laughs> Russell, Russell Brunson's on my list. I don't have 10 years to wait for this. Um, and so, so we found this gap like of hitting this dream 100 ceiling. And really, ultimately, it's like people get frustrated if they try to fill out a list of 100 people. They're like, oh, I don't know 100 people. Or if you're like Russell Brunson and you're like 100 Facebook people, 100 podcast people, 100 Instagram people, next thing you know, you have a list of 800 people and then what have you done with it, right? Like that's right. not a money generating activity. So, so Ron and I created a whole program, how to not get frustrated um, with this Dream 100 concept, but to actually make it into bite-sized chunks and figure out ways to increase your visibility, your traffic, and ultimately your sales. So if you have an offer of any kind online, your own coaching business, your own product, your own service, um, you know, anything like that, then you're kind of the person that we can help. We can help you find and really double your audience size like that. Help you follow our framework to get visible to increase, so basically you and other people that you're working with both level up to points to where ultimately your goal is to get to that top of dream 100. Right. Yes. And so, and so Ron and I, and, and you met us through the launch and scale and, and maybe right. even the challenge. Right. And yes. you saw, you saw the fun videos we did with our, our pieces. Right. I did. <laughs> and, and so like, that's just one tactic that we use to get noticed. And Brian Delaney and Nick Unsworth, they're on our dream 100 list because 
they have a, a partnership. And so Ron and I had to start trying to learn like who are really successful with a, you know, partnership run company that they both have different skill sets, right? So we had to start to learn and model from these guys. And so what better way than to jump into their free challenge? And, right. and then what better way to get noticed by them by being involved in the group, by commenting, like, you're great. You always comment and you, you provide value, right? And right. so we were doing that along with adding these fun little videos that everyone remembered, right? They were unique and fun and most likely everyone remembered. And so part of our Now My Dream 22 is we have joint venture master classes taught by experts in, the, in their field. And Brian Delaney is one of them simply because he recognized us through that challenge and now he's going to come teach in our in our group and so every single week in our now my dream 22 we have a new expert teaching something different and uh we haven't even uh, even officially launched yet we've okay. already sold the course we haven't even done our webinar yet we've already sold the course we've already got six people like the plan was to get three jv experts to, to help teach in that first month and we've already got six, Alex Elliott, Catherine Jones, uh, Brian Delaney, Jamie Atkinson. Like there's already a lot of great people. And that's ultimately because of our podcast, because of our frameworks of getting noticed and visible and because of the extra value that we're pro providing everywhere. So, so our, our course is all about teaching that. And it's more than just a course, right? Like part of it is you get to spend two hours with us at the beginning, one-on-one. -on -one. And we're going to go through every little detail of your offer and how to position, how you're positioning yourself and who would you work best, best with. And then we have the course part um, that includes some, some of the time with us um, as far as like a, a weekly mastermind and um, a weekly like hot seat from people that want to be on it. And so it's a total mix of, of uh, a normal course a coaching program, uh, some one-on-one -on -one stuff, some done for you uh, stuff from our Trello boards to uh, email templates and stuff like that. And uh, the ultimate goal though, is to, you know, take someone like yourself, whatever you're selling and double the, double your audience, find a good partner that you can work with and, uh, uh, and ultimately get you some sales. Oh, that's exciting. That really is. Cause it's, that's where I struggle. I'm real honest. It's a, I have my own course. Um, but to get the, the audience to get it right in the, the in front of the right people is a challenge. And then like Brian would say that DAO offer, it, it's like keep messing with it. It's like, uh, and that's the biggest challenge. I believe a lot of people, if they're coming on to market a course is, you know, you know how, how do you put that offer together? So you, yeah. you're trying to help people do that. that is really cool. I did not know that. So that's kind of. That was yeah. a great question I led into you. <laughs> yeah, it was perfect. Yeah, it was perfect. And you'll see, like, uh, you know, our offer, we had the majority of it figured out before launch and scale, but, but our offer, it, 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 we 100% went with the DAO. We 100%, the, the dumb offer, yes. we made sure that uh, it was a no-brainer for anybody looking at it. Um, and, and ultimately, I mean, we, we went back and forth and we're like, gosh, is that too cheap? Because... The, the amount of time that you get one-on-one -on -one with us is the cost of the course. Like it's a thousand dollar course, but you know, there's basically four hours of like Ron, myself and you Ron, myself and whoever, right. That's right. That get a spend together. And like that alone is, is worth that amount of time. I mean, we charge uh, $500 for these strategy sessions just off, you know, for a one-time deal all the time. And so, um, so to have that as, you know, part of the course is, is pretty fun. And it allows us to really get to know everybody that's coming in instead of, you know, there's so many courses out there that you may never meet the course creator, right? Absolutely. You yeah. just go through it and, and they, and you hope that our person finishes it, but because of how we're mixing it, we're like, we're going to make sure that everyone gets through it. And because we're, there's so much time that we're together, um, you know, through the beta, there's some live training. Um, but after that, like, there's still going to be like, I don't know, maybe eight hours, 10 hours, like after the beta goes, there, there'll still be like 10 hours where there's FaceTime with us and, and, you know, whoever's in the program. Oh, that is cool. That, that really is cool. I, you guys are going to be a huge success with it. I, I can just, I can see it. So are, are you offering it for people right now or? Yeah. Yeah, we are. So in August is when we're going to start the actual course. 
And so um, we've probably got six people already lined up to join uh, or that already have joined. Um, and my goal is to get 15 minimum okay. um, because there's some mastermind aspects of it that uh, a, a group of 10 to 15 is like perfect. And, you know, if 30 come in, then the, the mastermind piece is still going to be in groups of 15. Like I, these smaller group mastermind groups where p- everyone gets a chance to talk. It's, you know, there's so many times you can go to a mastermind and it's like one person teaching and everyone listening. Like that's not what this is going to be. This is going to be a, a group of say 10 of us. And, and I'm going to be like, Mark, what did you do this week to improve your, your offer or to get your offer in front of people? You know, and I'm going to put you on the spot. Right. Or maybe it's the hot seat piece. If you're, if you watch Salons and Scale, they did this and yeah. I'm, I'm taking it directly from them, but we're going to go through every little detail of somebody over the course of 15 to 30 minutes, um, just to make sure that everyone has what they need to succeed. That is really cool. That, that is, uh, I've been in masterminds where I feel like a, a lost soul there because somebody will start a conversation and you just can't get in into the conversation at all, which wasn't, more my challenge than anybody else's, but that sounds really exceptional. Okay, so if I'm brand new, don't know you, where would I go to see the course? Are you just you haven't launched yet? No, it's the the site is live. Uh, we just haven't launched our webinar yet. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so it's now my dream twenty two dot com. I've seen and, it. I've and seen uh, that yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you can anybody can go there and you can you can see our our incredible offer that we've got going on and um, you know. You, Right now, and to our true fashion, we're not going to go do just a webinar and just be like this and, and talking and trying to go through everything. We're, we're going to make it fun. We're not going to do it live, not because we can't, but because we want to showcase some of the fun pieces um, of, of how we do videos and things that we're going to teach, right? And so to do that in its best fashion, we need to actually record it and make it fun. And so you can see my whiteboard behind me, I just do. a little bit about traffic. And so I recorded yesterday, uh, you know, a 45 minute training on traffic and, uh, and, and because that's, you know, part of our piece is, is visibility, traffic and sales. And, and so I was using this whiteboard to, to teach it and, and Ron's got his whiteboard that he was doing some stuff and we're going to show some videos and some of it's going to be live and some of it's going to be this way. Like it's going to be a lot of fun though. Oh, I bet. I bet. Hey, Corey, I really appreciate you being here today. I, I think one, you're going to help a ton of people. I appreciate it. I'm going to go to that site and check that out because it's, uh, I got to grow. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Well, uh, you know, I'm a, it's been a pleasure to be on here. And uh, again, thank you for, for allowing me to speak my mind because I, uh, I know sometimes, uh, you know, everybody is like, ah, oh, who's this other person? Right. And so anyway, it's, it's been a blast and, uh, um, you know, again, thanks for the opportunity. All right. You take care. Man, wasn't that a great show? I, I think I could have talked to him forever. I really do. Cause he's so knowledgeable and he, you can certainly see what he wants to do is serve people. So you can find him on Facebook and I'll put the link in the show notes. His Facebook group is facebook.com groups forward slash hindsight hacking. You'd be foolish not to join the group. I can't wait to see their program coming out. I join programs, but I join programs that I know will help me grow my business. And that's the whole goal of Corey and his partner around. So I hope you like that. Head over to his Facebook group, facebook.com groups forward slash hindsight hacking. Y'all take care.